sixth grade module 4 lesson 30 problem set write and solve an equation for each problem number one solve for x what we have here is a right angle we know it's a right angle because of that right there that tells us that a right angle is 90 degrees so we have x degrees 52 degrees and the whole thing adds up to 90 degrees we have x degrees plus 52 degrees is equal to 90 degrees. So to get x by itself, we need to subtract 52 degrees. So we'll have x degrees plus 52 degrees minus 52 degrees. So that'll get x by itself. But then when we what we do to the left, we must do to the right. So 90 degrees minus 52 degrees. Let's do 90 minus 52. would be 38 degrees. So x is equal to 38 degrees. So this is 38 degrees. Number two, angle BAE measures 90 degrees. So again, the whole thing is 90 degrees. Solve for x. Here's x. We know this one is 15 degrees. This is 25 degrees and x, so all three of those would add up to 90 degrees. So 15 degrees plus x degrees plus 25 degrees is equal to 90 degrees. So we can combine some terms here and do x degrees 15 degrees plus 25 degrees would be 40 degrees. Would be equal to 90 degrees. So to get x degrees alone, we need to do the opposite of plus 40, which is minus 40. So we'll have x plus 40 degrees minus 40 degrees. What we do on one side, we must do on the other. So x degrees is equal to 90 minus 40 is 50 degrees. So x is 50 degrees. Number three. Thomas is putting in a tile floor. He needs to determine the angles that should be cut in the tiles to fit in the corner. The angle in the corner measures 90 degrees. So we have a corner that measures 90 degrees. One piece of the tile will have a measure of 24 degrees. Write an equation and use it to determine the measure of the unknown angle. So there's going to be just some tile, and one of the angles is going to be 24 degrees. We don't know what the other angle is, but we do know that together they are 90 degrees. So our equation would be x degrees plus 24 degrees is equal to 90 degrees. So let's do the opposite of plus 24 degrees and subtract 24 degrees is equal to 90 minus 24 degrees. So 90 minus 24 would be 66 degrees. So that missing piece is 66 degrees. Number four, solve for x. We have x degrees, this is 105 degrees, this is 62 degrees. Now this is a straight line or a straight angle. We know a straight angle is equal to 180 degrees. So all of those together would add up to 180 degrees. We have x degrees plus 105 degrees plus 62 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. Let's add 105 plus 62. So that's 167. So x degrees plus 167 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. Okay, now we just need to get x by itself. So we're going to do that by subtracting 167 degrees. We need to do it to both sides. So x would be equal to 180 minus 167, which is 13 degrees. So this missing piece is 13 degrees. Number five, Aram has been studying the mathematics behind pinball machines. He made the following diagram on one of his, uh, he made the following di 
following diagram of one of his observations. Determine the measure of the missing angle. So again, we have a straight line or a straight angle, which is 180 degrees. And all three of those would add up to 180. So we have 52 plus x, 52 degrees plus x degrees plus 68 degrees would be equal to 180 degrees. Let's do 52 plus 68. We get 120. So we now have 120 degrees plus x degrees is equal to 180 degrees. So to get x by itself, we have 120 plus x degrees, so let's do also subtract that to get rid of the 120 degrees. And what we do on one side, we must do on the other side. So 180 minus 120 would be 60. So x degrees is equal to 60 degrees. So this missing is 60 degrees. Number six, the measures of two angles have a sum of 90 degrees. So two angles equal 19, 90 degrees. The measures of the angles are in a ratio of two to one. Determine the measures of both angles. So we have two ang angles at a, at a ratio of two to one. So if we labeled all of these x, we would have two x and an x, and all together, those would equal 90. So we have two x plus x, is equal to 90 degrees. Or we can combine 3x is equal to 90 degrees. And since it's 3 times x, to get rid of the 3, we just need to do the opposite of 3 times x. We can do 3x divided by 3. And then we need to do 90 divided by 3. So, 3 divided by 3, that would just leave us with x is equal to 90 divided by 3 is 30 degrees. So one angle, so x would be equal to 30 degrees. 2x, 2 times 30, would be equal to 60 degrees. So the two angles would be 30 degrees and 60 degrees. And number 7. The measures of two angles have a sum of 180 degrees, so it's a straight angle. The measures of the angles in the ratio are 5 to 1. Determine the measures of both angles. I'm going to do the same thing with a tape diagram, but we have this time we have 5 to 1. So we have 5x. Let me redo that. We have 5x and just 1x. So together, they add up to 180 degrees. So 5x plus, we can put degrees, equals 180 degrees. Or 6x is equal to 180 degrees. So we can figure out what x is by doing 6 times x divided by 6. So 6x divided by 6 would be equal to 180 degrees divided by 6. So x is equal to 180 divided by 6. Well, 18 divided by 6 is 3, so 180 divided by 6 would be 30 degrees. So x, just x is 30 degrees. And 5x, or 5 times 30, would be equal to 150 degrees. So we would have 30 degrees and 150 degrees.